It makes me feel like he stabbed me in the back and has been lying to me for seven years. One thing about the family, Chantel, they're always going to deliver the drama. I'm Stephanie, and let's get into it. Karen, who has dubbed herself Queen Wig, took Chantel and Winter out to go wig shopping. And while in the shop, she made a confession, revealing about going to a private investigator to dig up some dirt on Pedro. Your father and I, we have been to a PI. Why? I wanted to find out about your ex-husband. I'm trying to move on. I know you are. I was only concerned about you. That's why I went. Chantel was interested in getting some tea from her mom, and Karen revealed that Pedro's sister's ex-boyfriend, Alejandro, wanted to meet with her and reveal some stuff about Pedro. I just might have a little discussion with him. I just want to be done with anything Pedro-related, and I don't think that Alejandro has anything beneficial to add to this. Alejandro might have something to tell me about, you know, Pedro's scamming family, who knows? But I'm willing to talk to anyone that will help me to find out what is going on, because after all, they used you for seven years to get a ticket right up in here to the United States of America, for real. Karen also revealed that Pedro had allegedly been lying about the status of his past relationships before dating Chantel, and that he allegedly had been involved with Karima before getting together with Chantel. I feel livid. My blood is boiling because Pedro, he told me that him and Karima were nothing. He said they didn't have a past or a future. They didn't like each other, that they were just friends from a long time ago, and it hurts. And that wasn't even the end of everything. Karen also revealed that Pedro had allegedly been involved with his coworker. You know, I know your concerns were about, was he having an affair? He was on a trip. They called it a business trip. Mm -hmm. And he was out there well, with two of his people that he works with. All signs point to that he was probably with the older female. Hmm. This is just assumption. If I was a betting man, I would say that I'm pretty sure that between the two ladies that he was not doing right by your daughter. Chantel was super upset and aghast about this. I mean, she had confided in this coworker in the past. Pedro's coworker was somebody who I once felt like I could trust and I confided in them. But that was all a ruse. They were most likely an item and they were both gaslighting me together, which is bull****. As for Pedro, we caught up with him in the Dominican Republic and he went out on a blind date with someone who looked eerily like Chantel. The first moment that, that Angela went to the room, I saw Chantel in her face. Like, no, are you kidding me? That looked the same, like, I should tell. <laughs> I'm like, what? Like, a little bit more skinny, a little more tall. That is crazy. One thing about first dates, you probably shouldn't bring up your ex, which Pedro did a lot. Pedro, como es, dice los dominicanos, está buenísimo. Pero, Cuando Pedro me habló en varias ocasiones de su expareja, me molestó un poco. Que me pareció que él está tratando de procesar todo lo, el acontecimiento y que está superando esto despacio. Now, despite having fun on the date, Pedro was not feeling it because she looked too much like Chantel. She's a sweet girl, um, but she reminds me of Chantel. They're identical. No bueno. I can't believe that two Chantel running out there. Even to think about it, that thing freaked me out. I'm not going to let Nicole send me out again. Maybe she had another friend that looked identical to Chantel. <laughs> he didn't just meet up with Chantel 2.0, he also met up with Karima, whom he claims he was never romantically involved with and never hooked up with. And it looks like things won't be progressing for these two because she's now off the market. Is this a compromise? Yes. Oh, te había dado uno mucho más grande. Ay, en serio, Pedro. Yeah. Se me cae el dedo, sí. Yeah. <laughs> Voy a hacer un brindis por ti, por tu felicidad, por tu compromiso y por tu novio. Coraima, she's a very nice woman. It's almost great to see her. But it's too late for me. There's something there, but it's never going to be. 
Despite Pedro and Karima apparently being star-crossed lovers, they decided to post a pic together on social media, which Chantel saw when she was on a trip with her family in New York City. And despite being over Pedro, she admitted that she couldn't help but feel hurt by it. When I see that picture of Pedro and Karima, I just seethe on the inside. And it just stirs up so many emotions and anger that I had during our marriage because he always promised me that there was nothing between them. And now this picture's popping up on my phone. Chantel, he posted that yes, today? Yes, today. Well, how does that make you feel? I can't deny that it does hurt. I know, I'm sorry, that. and I could tell it, I could tell. Jumping back to Pedro's fam, his mom Lydia is getting ready to meet up with Scott for the first time since their split. We've always had great chemistry and there's a, a strong physical attraction, but I'm here hopefully to win her heart. I'm afraid to fail. I'm afraid that, um, you know, the possibility that it doesn't work again. Because I really enjoy talking to Lydia and uh, I miss having somebody that I can be vulnerable to. And I'm really going in with, um, the best intentions. Lydia wanted answers from Scott, and she asked him if he was still in communication with the other woman he was talking to. Nana, okay. She took advantage of me again, but I cut off all relationships with her back in December. I really feel like I didn't give you a fair opportunity because she came back into my life for a week and my judgment was clouded and I had confusion. And I didn't realize how much I missed you until we weren't talking. And they seem to be getting along well now. Lydia even went to Scott's room. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> oh my God, I Relax. <laughs> Okay, Bien. Chantel got an offer on the house she used to share with Pedro. So despite her being upset with everything that went down with Karima, she had to call him up and tell him the news. But he was not wanting to sell the house for the price that was offered. I not sell it until we get a good price. That's all we have to say. It's obvious Pedro is making this process more difficult because he wants to get back at me for not letting him sell the house himself. This house is like a ball and chain just tying us together. And I can't believe that he wants to not sell the house just for a little more money. They ended up getting into an argument and Chantel went below the belt with this clap back. You owe me an apology and you owe me a thank you for using me and treating me like for seven years and I stayed with you through your erectile dysfunction and everything else. That's nothing to me. Okay. He didn't have sex with me for an entire year. I mean, maybe it was more of erectile displacement, but he didn't get it up for me.